I briefly explained MIDI data earlier, and we took an overview of the piano roll view, often referred to as the PRV. In this video, we'll learn more about MIDI data and how to edit it using the PRV. To open the PRV, either double click on a MIDI clip, or select a MIDI track or clip, and press Alt plus 3. Remember, tracks can be selected for viewing and editing using the Tracks menu, and a track pane on the right can be used to filter control of the tracks. Here is where we see the note and controller data. Notes are represented as a rectangular shape. Their position in relation to the piano keys on the left indicates pitch, their length duration, and depth of color their velocity. Use the hide data control in the track pane to filter the tracks out you don't want to see. Just like clips, these notes also have hotspots. Using the Smart tool, editing functions change depending on whereabouts the cursor is over the note. Remember that just like working in the track view, editing actions here will follow any snap settings that you have set. To select a note, click on it toward the lower center. Click drag here and it acts as a move tool. Movement direction can be constrained by holding down the shift key. Again, very handy for maintaining a note's pitch or time position. The direction constrained depends on the first movement. Hold down the control key and the note is duplicated as it's moved. To select multiple notes, either use control or shift modifiers to add notes to a selection, or right click and lasso over multiple notes. A note will be selected even if partially touched by the lasso. To select a range of notes, click drag in the timeline. To access more detail about a note, double click on it, which will open the note properties, which can also be edited here. To change the start time while adjusting note length, click drag on the left edge of the note. To adjust note length but maintain note start time, click drag on the right hand edge. As a note is edited, you'll notice that a tooltip appears on mouse down that displays all the pertinent information. To adjust the velocity, click drag toward the top center and drag up or down. The cursor changes to indicate the velocity tool, and you can see the velocity change in the velocity lane at the bottom. We'll look at this controller pane and controller lane shortly. Notes can be split into two by holding down the Alt key and left clicking at the point you want to make the split. Two notes of the same pitch can also be glued together to make one note. Hold down Alt plus Control, then left click and drag over the two notes. To mute a note, hold down Alt and right click on it. The main colour will fade and just an outline remains to indicate it is muted. As well as editing, the Smart tool can also draw notes. Click, hold and drag to start drawing a note to any length. While a left mouse button is held down, the note position can be freely moved and length adjusted. As soon as the mouse button is released, the note is drawn. To draw a note at the current default length, either double click or Alt plus click where you want the note drawn. The default length is set and changed using the draw resolution setting. This can be accessed from the HUD or the control bar. Click the middle mouse button or press T to show the HUD. Here are all the musical durations as well as last touched, which changes dynamically depending on the last selected note. The other tools can also be chosen here, but the Smart tool covers most of the functions of the others. There are a few exceptions though, which we'll look at very shortly. Painting multiple notes is also possible. Hold down Alt plus Control and click drag. This action also follows the snap and draw resolution. Now let's look at some of the functions not covered by the Smart tool. To scrub notes, press J to select the scrub tool and click drag over the notes you want to hear. Press F5 to get back to the Smart tool. The other function that isn't accessible from the Smart tool is drag quantize. We'll look at how to do this shortly, but first we'll take a closer look at what quantizing is and how to use it. Quantizing will move notes and optionally adjust note length to fit the tempo grid to correct any timing problems that might have been present when it was recorded. The trouble is, if music is quantized too rigidly, it loses much of its feel and then sounds robotic. 
Fortunately, we have some control over the quantize settings to help avoid this. To quantize MIDI data, we first need to select the notes we want to correct. Control plus A will select all notes in the PRV, but it's also possible to select MIDI clips in a track view and use the same command. Either press Q or select Process Quantize from the main menu. This opens the Quantize dialog where we can adjust settings. Duration is the resolution to which notes will be adjusted. Smaller values equals more precise quantization. Under the Change section, we can set what we want quantized. Note duration will adjust note lengths to the nearest resolution settings. It doesn't change all the note durations to this value. The Options setting contains the parameters that allow us to maintain some of the feel of a piece. The Strength setting controls how close to the resolution setting grid position notes are moved. For example, a setting of 100% moves notes precisely to the grid, while 50% will just move them halfway there. Swing distorts the timing grid slightly so that note spacing between pairs of notes is uneven. 50% is even, above 50% increases the spacing, and below 50% decreases spacing. The window setting can be thought of as a sensitivity setting. At 100%, all notes are quantized regardless of their position in relation to the grid. As this figure increases, notes need to be closer to the grid to be included in the quantize. As it decreases, notes further from the grid are ignored. Offset moves the whole grid snap point by a set number of ticks. Experiment with the settings to see what works best for the material and listen to the result by using the audition button. If you apply the settings and don't like the results, just use the Edit Undo command. Now we've looked at quantize in more detail, let's look at the Drag Quantize function of the timing tool. The first step is to select the notes that we want to quantize using one of the methods we've already looked at. Then select the Timing tool from the HUD or Toolbar by click holding the Edit tool and selecting Timing. Move the Timing Tool cursor over one of the selected notes and the cursor will change to the Drag Quantize cursor. Click and drag up to move notes closer to the quantize point, drag down to move them further away. There is a slightly different view available for tracks assigned to a drum map, and that's the drum pane. The main differences here are that notes are now displayed as drum names, and the note data is displayed as a triangle stood on end. There is greater control over individual drum sounds, they can be muted or soloed, and the map properties can be viewed and edited by double clicking on them. Notes are drawn and edited in exactly the same way as the regular MIDI note pane. Now we've covered how to edit and draw notes, let's take a look at the continuous controllers. A continuous controller, sometimes referred to as just controller or CC, is MIDI's method of changing a parameter associated with either a synth or MIDI data. It is a MIDI message to tell a synth or other piece of MIDI equipment to perform a certain action, such as increase reverb or move the pitch wheel. The controllers available on a track are dependent on the synth associated with it, but there are several standard MIDI controllers. The controller pane at the bottom of the PRV is where these lanes are displayed. It can be hidden or shown using the option in the view menu. If it's hidden, Controller and Velocity data is displayed in a note pane. By default, the lane will display Velocity, which although not technically controller, is displayed in a very similar way. The level of a continuous controller is shown by vertical line. To add a controller lane, either click on the plus icon or use an existing lane's edit filter to select an existing controller or add a new value type. If adding a lane, the new one appears beneath the existing one. If changing the edit filter, the data in the lanes change to reflect that. Controller data can be recorded in real time the same way as notes are, or drawn in. Left click and drag to draw data. Hold down the shift key to draw a straight line. Click hold and drag to edit controllers, either level or position. And that covers the main methods of editing MIDI data in the PRV.